Uh, <clears throat> okay, uh, this this that you're seeing right here is uh, my ceiling fan. It's just a glare spot from my overhead light and my ceiling fan rotating. So don't pay any attention to that. There's that uh, chrome sphere in there, and then I put another uh, electrode in there that's just a flat plate, and that's suspended off of the bottom. Uh, I, I put uh, just a little bit of uh, Dow Corning high vacuum grease around the edge to make a seal, and I've got it uh, being pumped down now, and if I've got the flyback transformer uh, with no capacitor bank and no spark gap, just hooked directly to the uh, feed throughs down underneath down there, and then I'm feeding 12 volts to the uh, to the uh, uh, flyback driver. So let's uh, let's see what happens. I'm going to turn it on now. Oh. Wow, yeah, baby, that is, that is cool. Uh, okay, so I think we've shown that uh, we are pulling enough vacuum to get down into a glow discharge range there. And of course there's enough power in that flyback arc, even at 12 volts input, to, uh, to create an arc, but I get the nice purple blue glow too. Uh, let me just turn off the vacuum pump. It's nice and quiet. That is, uh... All right, what just happened? Something just happened. Are we don't have enough uh, vacuum in there anymore? Is that what it is? It seems to still be oscillating. Let's turn the vacuum pump back on. Ah, that's what it was. Okay, so I'll turn the vacuum pump off. And so there's obviously enough leakage in there so that uh, now the spark has gone out. Okay, so vacuum pump back on. And there we get the spark again. <clears throat> so I think that shows that we are pulling uh, sufficient vacuum in here to uh, get down into a glow discharge plasma region in the brand new an atmosphere. Thank you for watching. Okay, now I've reduced the input voltage to under six volts. Uh, 5.6 volts, and that has uh, uh, stopped the arcing, and now we're getting pretty much just a classical glow discharge in there with not very much actual arcing. I'm going to turn the voltage down even more. Okay, so that's about 5 volts input, and that has extinguished the glow action in there. So now I'm going to turn start turning the voltage up again 5.3 6.4 so the arc strikes at about 6.2 6.3 volts input and when I turn it up to a normal running of 12 volts there roughly we get that super nice plasma display. So now I'm going to turn down, turning down, 10 volts, 8 volts, 7 volts, 7.5 volts, 6.5 volts, 6 volts, 5.7 volts. So that's about, that's 5.5 volts input right there. And that is a nice glow discharge in there coming from a point on the negative uh, the negative electrode. This of course is a modern flyback so it's a DC, pulse DC output. It's rectified. So there's on the negative grounded electrode there's a little point and it's spreading out into a large patch on the sphere. Oh, my camera just won't focus properly on that in the dark, but I think you can still see, and then of course here now we've got the glare from the overhead light. Let's see if I can shadow that. Okay. 
That's still happening at five volts input there. Turn that back up to twelve volts. Alright, thanks for watching. Uh, okay, I've uh, exchanged that uh, flat aluminum electrode for a piece of copper tubing in there that's, uh, that I looped in a kind of an arc, and it's up off of the bottom deck there, like that. And there's my under the table feed trees and whatnot. And uh, I put a little bit more. Uh, vacuum sealant on there, so I might have a little bit better vacuum in there, but um, watch what happens now. Uh, I've got the, got the power turned up, need 18 volts, and uh, that glare from the overhead light. And that's just not enough light. Let's see here. Sorry about the light. Okay, there I've got an illumination from the side over here. So now I'm going to turn on the driver. Mm. You see that? That is a, a that is a completely different character of discharge than what I was seeing before. And uh, I don't know if you can actually see that well enough to tell or not. In the first place, there's a little bit less current in that, <clears throat> and it's stable at about a little over four amps. Normally, I'd be seeing five or five and a half amps in there. <clears throat> and uh, I guess you can see that on the cathode, the tube, there's sort of an enveloping blue glow. It's coming out purple on the screen, and then there's that kind of tapered flame discharge coming off of this sphere, tapering down to kind of a little dark zone there before it actually encounters the copper tube where it spreads out into that longer attached kind of glow. There's some, dis some distortion from the uh, warpage of the glass, but I think and I think you can see what's going on there, the way that works. All right, let me turn off the driver again. Sometimes it'll attach over to a different part of the uh, wraparound. Put that light on and this light off. Turn. Let me uh, turn off the vacuum pump and see what happens. Oh, look at that. So air is obviously leaking back into the chamber now. And there the arc went off. Uh, that was really interesting. I have not seen that before. All right, I'm going to turn the pump on again. Wow. Uh, okay, let's, let's do that again. I wish I could get away from that glare over there. Anyhow, that's what I mean. Now you can see that it's attached to a different part of the copper tube. And, uh, It's really neat. It's like the end of the copper tube is glowing purple and must be emitting ultraviolet because it's showing up a lot brighter on the screen than it is in real life. And there's that dark space right there before the cathode. 
All right, now I'm going to turn the pump off. That's very interesting right there, it segments. The current is going up when it's doing that, by the way. It's uh, six and a half amps just before it goes off. Okay, pump back on. <laughs> that is a really interesting thing. Right? That's back down to about 4 amps at 18 volts. Alright, pump off. So, uh, 6 amps right there. 6.5 amps. 6.7 amps. That's my power supply trying to keep up, and there finally it goes out. Okay, vacuum pump back on. I wish you could see that uh, in person instead of through the camera. It really looks neat. Uh...